Hey guys, we are live like we are every Tuesday at 3 and um, today we are live from Port Elizabeth as you can see with my hair it's all over the place um, the windy city as they know it and today it's actually quite cold as well hence the jacket and everything but we were here for about 4 days now in Port Elizabeth and we had some good weather as well and then obviously we had the wind and the, the coldness today but guys I hope everything is well on your side today we're going to talk a bit about why you should read books okay a lot of people ask me oh but, but why are you saying you need to read books all the time today we're going to talk a bit about that why you should read books and is books better than video or is it not share your opinion what do you think um, Arlong, the guy, Kroos, charming man, and one other person, <laughs> share what you think. Do you think books are better than video, or do, you think, or do you think video is better than books in terms of financial content that you need to take in? Straight from Port Elizabeth today. Next week we are in Cape Town. Guys, so everyone in Cape Town, next week we're going to be there. Um, I'm speaking at the epic networking event next week, Tuesday. Tuesday in Cape Town so make sure uh, if you're in Cape Town you attend the epic networking event so guys why is books important and is books better than video or is video better than books let us know on the live session right now um, so why it's important in the first place to take in financial content right why is that important well in my journey uh, building businesses um, writing my book, going through entrepreneurial uh, journey, I learned that financial knowledge is the most important thing in terms of building wealth. Why? Okay, why is that important? Because I believe that if you want to become a millionaire, you need to learn from a millionaire. If you want to become the best cricketer in the world, you need to learn from the best cricketer. If you want to become the best golfer in the world, you need to learn from the best golfer. That makes sense right now it's the same in business if you want to become the best businessman in the world you need to learn from the best businessman and if you want to become a millionaire you need to learn from a millionaire and if you don't have parents uh, that are business owners that are millionaires that are billionaires um, similar like my situation I didn't have parents that were very wealthy that owned businesses that ran businesses I needed to learn from those people through books so I read it uh, I read a lot a lot of books um, in my short career or in my journey and I, I, I believe that that is what made the difference that, that is what made the change so what do you think books important books better than videos send it on live session right now um, then we can see what everyone is saying Erlang Kraus Charming man, Arnu, um, Dominique and JC. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on the live session. Today we're talking a bit about financial content and why that is necessary straight here from Port Elizabeth. Um, Erlang is saying books better. Uh, that charming man is saying books contain more information, I guess. <laughs> books is better. <coughs> Great. What do you guys think? Video or books um, or podcasts? In terms of taking in financial content so what happens when you read all of these books right all of that content gets placed in your subconscious it gets placed in your subconscious and then from there it changes the way you actually see the world right it changes the way you think and that changes your outcome on a daily basis a lot of people ask me oh but what's the biggest secret to success right what's that silver bullet and like I said before I think the biggest secret is the fact that millionaires or those pro CEOs or that pro cricketer or that pro businessman that you want to become thinks differently than what you do millionaires think differently than what you do and the only way you can find out how they think is by actually reading is by actually reading the books taking in the content to understand how they think and as soon as you start to think differently you're gonna see the world differently 
and then you're going to see opportunities you've never seen before you're going to take uh, you know risks that you know are not risks because it's calculated you're seeing the world differently than other people i get so many people that ask me oh Bert, um i don't see any opportunities what should i do how can i make money you know where's the opportunity and then when I look at their lives, I can name them at least 10 opportunities they can go into right now. And then they're like, oh, but how did you see this? I didn't see it, right? It's because you think differently. And the way to change the way you think is by taking in the correct financial content. By reading the books, listening to the podcasts, watching the videos, following the the pro entrepreneurs on Instagram or Facebook and making sure you take in the correct content because that changes the way you think. We can have a practical example guys. Um, let's take your favorite car. You, I'm sure you have a favorite car. It might be a Ferrari, Lambo, uh, Mercedes, BMW, whatever it is. Let's say we take your favorite car. Whenever I drive on the highway, I see a thousand cars passing me on the left hand lane, thousands of them. But I, can, I can't recall their colors, I can't recall their brands, I can't even remember that I've seen those cars. But I'm looking for the new AMG, right? That's the next car I want to buy, the CLA 45. And whenever that car passes by on the left hand lane, I immediately see it, right? I immediately see it, why? Has this happened to you? If this happened to you, send a shop on the live session. If I'm on the right track today, send a shop on the live session. If you're enjoying this, we're talking a bit about the financial content and what that does for your mindset and your brain. So riding on, uh, driving on the highway in the left hand lane, a thousand cars pass me by. But as soon as the AMG CLA 45 passes by, I immediately see it. Why? Because my brain is focused on that. Because my mind is focused on that. And therefore, I immediately see it as it passes by. My brain deletes all of that information. All of the other thousand cars that passes by gets deleted. And my brain's like, Albert is focusing on the CLA 45. So whenever that car passes by, my brain says, look, there it is. And all of the other cars gets deleted. And how do you change that? How do you change what your mind focuses on? You do that by taking in the correct content. You do that by reading the books, watching the videos, listening to the podcasts, right? Taking in the correct content changes the way you think, it changes your mindset, and it changes what you see on a daily basis. And when that happens, you start seeing the opportunities. You start seeing the business ideas. You start seeing all of the gaps in the market because you're thinking differently on the live session we have um erlang this guy charming man arnu uh, dominique jc uh, loki lufizo stian celeste jonathan marcel guys thank you so much for joining in on the live session if you're enjoying the session send a shop and then we still need to decide what's better guys reading books or watching videos right in terms of financial content, in terms of taking in this content, what do you like more? Do you like watching videos of entrepreneurs and talks or do you like reading books? What's the best one? Let's see. Guys, send on the live session right now what you think is the best way to take in financial content. Send it through and then we'll see what happens. Olank is saying books and that charming man is saying books is better. Guys, let's see what's happening. Uh, so obviously as you start to take in all of this financial content your mindset changes and you start seeing new things and then you're starting to think like a millionaire you're starting to think like a billionaire and as soon as you do that then you'll see that the things you do on a daily basis starts to change and you start to do things differently as well and when you start doing things differently you'll see different results so that's why content is so so important taking in the correct financial content now let's get to the books versus video part right we've had a few we have a few um, votes here Marcel is saying books teach great concepts but videos explain the nitty-gritty things 
Guys, tell me what your thoughts. Uh, Dominique is saying with today's technology, young learners will uh, more likely to learn on podcasts and videos, but I personally prefer books. So we have one for videos, three for books, okay? Uh, Charming Man is saying movies inspire us, books teach us. Don't know which way that one is going, maybe books or videos. Uh, let's give both of them a point. My personal opinion is I think books are better. Books are better to take in financial content. Why do you say that, Albert? Okay, so the reason why I think books are a better choice is because when you watch a video, you can watch it for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, maybe 20 minutes if you watch a video for a long time and then you'd have to take in all of that content in that 20 minutes, right? And that is like sitting in a classroom. Sometimes, I don't know who went to study um, at university or whatever, it's a 40 minute class, but sometimes when you walk out there, you can't even remember what happened in that class, right? And that's the same with video. Sometimes when you um, finish watching the video, you can't even properly remember what you saw. Whereas if you read a book, you're going to have to spend time with that book, right? And most of these books are thick books and they tackle one concept, but they tackle it from different angles. And what happens is through this journey, while you're reading this thick book, that one concept get drilled into your mind over and over and over again which can be a whole weekend, it can be a whole month. You can be busy with a book for three months, right? And that content gets drilled in, drilled in, drilled in. And when you finish that book, that concept has firmly been placed in your mind. Whereas if you watch a video, it's, it might be in quickly and then out again. It doesn't necessarily become part of your life. But when you read a book like that, I promise you it becomes part of your life. The books that I still remember the most are the books that I read the longest. So for example, the four hour work week, I read that book for three months, right? And within that three months, that concept got drilled into my mind. And I can remember the concepts in that book way better than the books that I read over a weekend, okay? Because of the time I spent with that book. So that's my personal opinion. Uh, books, in my personal opinion, on the best way to take in financial tools, tips, content, because um, it gets drilled into your mind and it sticks. It becomes part of your life. Whereas a video or a podcast or some kind of other format comes in quickly and might leave quickly, depending on your focus and how you take in the content. On the live session, we have Erlang, uh, this guy Kraus, charming man, Arnu. Um, Dominique, JC, Loki, Lufitsu, Stian, uh, Celeste, Marcel, um, Michael. Guys, thank you so much for joining in our live session. Santal, uh, Celeste is saying books, yes, please. <laughs> and she's saying she totally agrees. Uh, guys, I hope that you enjoy my opinion on it. Dominique is saying, why not both? Um, I completely agree with that as well, Dominique. You can. Um, read a book, right? Spend time with a book. Let's say for a month you spend time going through a book and then in between You can fill your mind with other financial content tools and tips through videos and podcasts But I strongly believe that the books content will really stick with you and become part of your life guys So content super important it changed the way you think it changed the way you see the world and therefore it changes the way how you act upon um, opportunities and how you see the opportunities in your life so go get that book uh, that you want to read go get that um, financial book and then start reading get that self-help business book start reading and uh, start your journey and take it from there guys this is this was the live session tuesday at three make sure you join us again next tuesday at three this one is from port elizabeth as you can see <laughs> the windy city next week uh, the live session will be from cape town we'll see you there we're traveling a lot these days okay guys see you again next week on the live session at three celeste is saying totally agree dominique is saying why not both
Charming Man is saying movies inspire us, books teach us, and books. Marcella is saying books teach great concepts, but Bria is explaining nitty gritty things.